Yo, what's poppin'? It's the Hyphenate. Welcome back to another episode of the Doubt Me Podcast. Today's special guest is a crazy dope skater who's got super dope vibes. I love her energy. And she's a gamer. She's also the first ever women's Battle of the Barracks champion. Today's special guest, Monica Torres. What's poppin', Monica? Thanks for having me. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks Hell for having yeah. me. I appreciate it. I met you maybe, uh, like almost two years ago now, or maybe a, year, yes. a little over a year and a half ago. And uh, we- The middle pandemic. Yeah, yeah. You had broken your back. You were just getting back into skateboarding. Yeah, I was actually like starting to have my first sessions when yeah. when I pulled up one day and you were here. Yeah, you've been skating for how many years now? I think like f 14, if not almost 14, 14 years, yeah. Grew up in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yes. Then you ended up coming out here to, right now we're in California, mm -hmm. America. Before we get into those details, tell me a little bit about your skateboarding here Going into Battle of the Barracks 1, the first ever mm -hmm. women's Battle of the Barracks. I actually came like in 2019 and then I was like, I'm going to just get to get a job and, and then like kind of just, you know, get a better life. And uh, so I had a normal job when I got here. I was like just doing like some stuff and working at, like this burger spot. Yeah. And then with my free time, I was just skating. And then I was kind of over to work over there. And then... Uh, one of my friends uh, work at the barracks, and then he's like, hey, I can get you a job in there, like, and it's not going to be the best job, but at least you're going to be around people that you know. And I was like, dude, that'll be great, because I'm not making a lot of money anyway. Yeah. So I started, you know, like, come over here and just kind of clean the park and do You were doing, like, more, like, maintenance, right? Yeah, the maintenance, yeah, yeah of the, the park and uh, helping my roommate, Tony, because he takes care of the shop. Oh, okay, okay. That, is, is you still shop? No, or not at, anymore. At, the time. at okay. the time. Now I'm like married and stuff oh. like that. But uh, So he was helping me. I was helping him sometimes with the shop and then with the maintenance at the park. And then uh, like just basically on my lunchtime, I was just skating at the park. Yeah. Why they're like like starting, like they're already like planning to do the whole woman's bar of the best, but no one knows about it. Did they, they did uh, they didn't announce it yet at that okay moment. okay so they were in the planning stages of women's battle at the barracks no they had, had everything planted already basically they were just about it already like starting okay when i show up oh, okay so they already had announced it and everything yeah they had the list they have everything oh, ready, so they already had ready the to go everything okay. ready to go and so when you came in to work at the barracks did uh did they know you skated no, they didn't know that much. No. No. So, but, like they, but would you skate when you were done working? My lunchtime, I started like just grab my board and skate a little yeah. bit, and um, and then they like, oh wow, like she's she, she's a proper skater, and then uh, they told me like, hey, like we got announcing like a couple of day, like a few days from now, like like to you to get an opportunity to join Battle of the Barracks if you post a video, we're gonna pick some people online. Oh and wow! Then we totally think that you have a chance. So like watch out for that like yeah. you, you can actually join i was like dude sick like i'm gonna do it so like uh that's crazy so you were just working here they didn't even really know you skated much no they, they were not related you on your lunch break and then like yo yeah because you submit because okay so i didn't really straight work to the barracks i i was like an employer for high beast because I, I was maintaining their stuff, like oh, their okay. offices, making sure that everything's... And gotcha. then because their office is actually inside of the barracks. Right. That's how I like was skating at the park and then, oh. and, and then doing all that because their office was it had the park. Yeah. Right. So like all the guys from the barracks, they're like, they're like starting to see me walking around, but I was never in the room when they're in there talking. Right, right. Because like, you were part of the hype yeah, side. I was like in, Not, in you didn't really. Yeah, mingle with the barracks side. No, I a little bit with the shop because yeah. my friend that we'll be talking. So I was just while we we're talking, right, just right. kind of like doing the boxes oh, for him because the, the online yeah. shop. But that was it. Like I wasn't directly like with them. Yeah. And then uh, what happened is like it's like a few days from like from me like maybe two weeks after I was working in here, the like one of the guys who's who's actually my husband now was like oh, really? watching, and then he like. Damn, if you, like, we're gonna, sh like, you should did, actually... Did he work at the barracks? He worked at the barracks. He was doing the cells. Oh, okay, 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 sick. Um, and then, so I didn't oh, know... All what's the, your husband's no, name? Lance. Lance. Lance Hacker, yeah. Lance Hacker. Damn, that's that's wild. I didn't know that, so... Yeah. <laughs> he worked here at the barracks. You were part of the high beast side. Yeah. He saw you. So he was on lunch break as well, as much as I was. He was on the way on the top, and he saw me skating, and then he's like, hey, like, 
I'm Lance. Like, like I do this for the. I like had no idea. I barely like speak. My English wasn't even that proper. Oh wow! It, like it was, but it was like it wasn't as good as it is today. Yeah. So, what's your language? Portuguese. I speak Portuguese. Yeah. yeah. And did then, uh, did uh, Lance speak? No. Oh, okay. he just yeah. speaks English. Only English. Yeah, not, yeah. not even Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he he told me he's like, hey, in a few days we're gonna. Like they're gonna drop it, like the opportunity for like people to be on Women's Bar the Barracks online, and I yeah. think you should apply. Like you should like apply your video, and yeah. I was like, okay, cool, like I'll do it. Like this is all I do is just getting a flat ground. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll do it. Like I, I've been kind of like expecting for them to like do this or like you know, so I'm gonna do it if it happens. I'll do it. And you posted on your Instagram or yeah, it, it, okay. it went like I, you you send it to them. Oh, you send it to the I think yeah, as long as I remember, you send it to them, and uh. They like the four, like some, I think four skaters or if not four, two will be joining the bracket online. from online. Yeah. That's so be dope. like, they will have their own list plus like plus a couple of, for, for people other online. people online. Yeah. And then and you made the cut. I made the cut. Yeah. That's dope. I made the cut. So I went back to Brazil. It's been like a month. This is before little, the finals or after the finals? Before, before the finals. Before the finals. I, so I made the cut. I went to Brazil because I had to leave the country. Why? Because I was here for six months. Oh, wow. So a few months I work on the thing. And when I got the job, I told them, like, hey, I got to leave the country to be able to and then come back. You didn't have, like, a full visa yet? Or was it, like, a, te- like I was a temporary? I was in process already. Oh, okay, okay. I was, like, uh, that's how I also got super close to Lance. because So I met Lance and then during that. And then uh, I was working to get my working visa. So I was, like... Uh, I needed a lot of like documents, and I didn't. I wasn't able to read them because I didn't know how to read. I I know how to speak. Right. I yeah, yeah I mean, it's a different language. It's, That's it, hard to learn. So, even like the, the reading is is yeah, another it, level. So if you if you speak the language, it's something. But if you read it yeah. and you write in English, it's completely yeah. it's like a next level. Yeah. Uh, and then, so he was helping me with this part, and it was basically a, that's so a whole dope mission. of him to like yeah, no, to, to he was, take he, the time to help you out though. Like, oh, uh, and he did. A, a lot of people got out of their way to actually help me at the berries, and that's, that's why. Amazing. And that's why I like the berries. I'm always gonna come back here and yeah. really respect everything they're doing because I really appreciate what the yeah, berries yeah. did for me. It's so high beast. So, um, so all that, uh, and then Women's Bar the Max happened. Finals happened. And then, luckily, I was working. Wait, wait, so, so, so you went to Brazil and then you came back. I came back for the finals. So, so you came back right before finals. Right before finals, yeah. Wow. I came back on the third, and then the finals was on the seventh. What's the barracks? It was like a few I days think. later. Yeah, 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 it's like the barracks uh, birthday, I think. Some, I would call it, something like something that. Like that, yeah. Yeah, and Some then, um, so yeah, so I came back on December third. And then me, me and Lance were like, even so, we were doing all this contest stuff. We're like sending emails to people and they be like, "Hey, uh, I'm Monica. I've been skating. I'm from Brazil, and I'm I'm like planning to stay in the United States. Is there any way you guys can help?" So because the barracks like knew everybody, like they have connections with everyone on skateboard. You're sending emails to who for what? Basically asking for letters to to be able to uh, their opinion about me staying in the United States. Oh wow, okay, because okay, cool. yeah, so the immigration will be work yeah, like yeah, looking yeah, for yeah. those opinions, right? So the barracks was a big opinion, and then uh, barracks was well connected with other medias, magazines, oh, wow. photographers, so you got a lot skaters. of support to help you stay. Yeah, so I, Lance knew those people because the, the, he does the sales. So he's the one who sells wow. what the barracks has to offer to those people. So yeah. we would just email them. And then, then they were like, at one point we had 10 letters and we we're like, all right, I think we're good. Yeah. And then I had a whole resume from Brazil. What, it wasn't that bad, but it, it was like something solid and, and good enough for me to like get my visa. And it worked yeah. out. Were you and Lance starting to date yet or not yet? Not yet. Okay. Mm-mm. So he was just purely helping you to help Purely you. helping me That's out. That's sick. You got here right before from brazil yeah and now when you went back to brazil were you skating a lot to practice or i rolled my ankle when i was in brazil oh snap they were having like uh, uh adidas was having a tour in there and uh the global team was helping me send me some shoes out so when i was there they connected with me like hey you should meet up like and then i was like cool the first weekend they were having like this little event and uh, i joined and then i rolled my ankle like Damn. literally on the first day and then it, it, it was, it, it ruined me. Like, I was like, I was like, there's no, absolutely no way that I'm like having the first time the opportunity to like, Be at the you know, the skate barracks, with them, yeah. skate with them, like be with these people in my country and, oh, yeah, and enjoy. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Cause that, uh, that was in Brazil. Right, right, right. And then I was supposed to be practicing. I rolled my ankle and then my ruined my whole entire like 
what's gonna happen from now on yeah but then i just keep positive i was still hanging out and then it, I, I really had a good time i think uh I helped the way I could when I was yeah. there. And, and so when was, you came back, how was your ankle? Was it healed yet or like still a little like... It was damaged. It was still damaged. It, was damaged. Damaged. Like, it wasn't ready. It really wasn't re ready yeah. yet. Yeah, it was one of... Like, it was a little tough like... To skate. Uh, the, the, to skate, yeah. yeah. I, the only thing that I was able to skate by, on that week already was flat ground. I wasn't able to skate anything else because yeah. that's how bad it was hurting. And Did it uh, hurt the night of finals? It don't. Because you're so stressed out that there's and the so many, yeah, adrenaline like gets you on that. But um, I really, I, like, I really had a good setup. I was with good shoes. I had a good board. I had a good skateboard. Like the ground's perfect. So I was like, it's just me. It's yeah. just you know, like I can go through that. So I, you know, you just take like Tylenol like yeah. in the morning and one in the night, bef like a little bit before the it starts, and then you yeah. go from there. So now going to finals night. The, all the pressure, all mm -hmm. the people. Yeah. First ever, you know, this mm -hmm. is history in the making, the yeah, first yeah. ever women's. Mm -hmm. What was, what were your nerves like? How did you, were you nervous? Were you scared? Were you like, like, was it uh, hard to focus or were you like zoned in? Like, what was your mindset going into that night? I was very f like feeling like home because I was, I go to the barracks like every day, yeah, for, yeah. you know, for obviously reasons. I was working in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then, so I was trying to So there to was a level of comfort. You actually, like, it felt okay. Like, it felt yeah, good. Yeah, but, you know, in a regular game, it's all quiet, you know. But in the night, it's, like, loud. It yeah, is pretty you got loud. Yeah, people. You get to that, thousands of yeah, people. Yeah, it gets quiet out of nowhere. And when you land, it's, like, everyone just goes crazy. <laughs> yeah. And um, I remember that I, like, I, in my head, I was like, man... I somehow made it to finals. Even so, I lost one of the games. Yeah. So, whatever it go, whatever happens, I'm already stoked. Yeah. And my first game was against Leo, and Leo was like the favorite. It was the not only the favorite to win, but the favorite skaters of everyone that was there. Yeah. Everyone that was there, like favorite skater was Leo. Yeah. Not only the people that watch it, but it's my favorite skater, and it'll be like the homies that are over there skating. This was the favorite skater. Yeah. So it was like in my head, I was like, "Man, if I lost to Leo, I'm chilling." Like it's still like it a, was. It, yeah, it's, it's normal. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. it's normal, you know, because yeah. it's like uh, it's such talent, you know, yeah. it's so talent. And then you're like, okay, cool, like let's do it. And then it was a tough game. It was a tough game. I was nervous. And Leo has such a proper skate that when I win, if I didn't win the whole shimbo, I will probably be not going to make it. Wow. So I remember that I, I could not miss my tricks. Cause, and I remember to miss once. And then he, Leo just got right at me. Like, like it was like. Came to attack. SKA into like SKA. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. got to do my thing like, as fast as I can and just like finish. Because it's like not gonna i'm not gonna have space i'm not gonna have anywhere to like i can just breathe and so i made it to that game and it was it was tough and not the way how i want it of course now you can oh you always think you can do better yeah but in my head i was like i need the money like yeah. i don't know like he was set sponsored by nike and all like he just had a whole history on skateboard so uh, what was your situation now before we talk about you winning mm -hmm. uh like you mentioned that you know you, know, you, you needed the money. Doing, how, yeah. how how was like your living situation? What was your situation like in life? You know, <laughs> have, you know, paying three hundred dollars to live at Tony's house. Uh, man, I had, like always have a space in my heart because it really took care of me when I yeah. need the most. So that was my situation. Paying rent, I but was. So, but you were like he was paying even for my shoes for me to skate. Like wow. he wanted me to skate so bad. You were like yeah. pretty broke. Yeah, I was pretty broke. You were broke and you were struggling. Yeah. Because I left Brazil for because my mom passed away, my grandma passed my, my grandma passed away, my mom passed away three months after. We spent the whole year oh, wow. rushing, like trying to figure it out all the the house documentation so we can sell and then we split and then everyone will, you know, just move forward with their own lives. Like I never you had a siblings? dad. I had one brother. I have one brother. Uh -huh. And then I ne never had never met my dad. And wow, that's we tough. had to find him. We had to find him to do the documentation. So the you house. had to? Yeah. So it was because my, my mom that and sucks. my dad never was legally separate. So oh, every time wow. they use, like, she, so how, she was how there. How old were you? I was 20. 
when that happened, I was basically... Yeah, you were young. I was probably 19 when my... Probably 20 when my grandma passed away. I had my birthday in October. That that was like August, like in August. Uh, September, October was my birthday. December 7, my mom passed away. So it was like yeah, a few months apart man. for a diff completely different reason. My mom had cancer. And then... So in the, the, uh, the next year following was like 2016, and we were all rushing doing all of this, this. And then in the 2017, I remember I got hurt, lost all my sponsors in Brazil because Brazil had a, like- So you already a, had sponsors skateboarding in Brazil. Yeah, but then like we had a, like a really bad economic, economic crisis and then it, all the brands were having problems. It was just like a pandemic without a pandemic in Brazil. Right. So- uh, companies like were shutting down, like shops were shutting down. Wow. The shoe sponsors that I had it, it was like not in like position to keep the team that they had it. So well, I was one of the riders that I got a good, a good paycheck compared to everybody else. So they just might as well just cut her and then cut like five dudes or cut three dudes, yeah. cut two dudes. And then I was seeing those cuts, you know, and I'm like, it's not that they wanted to do it. It just has needs yeah, to be yeah, done to. because there's no the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I lost all my sponsors. And then I'm like in a situation that I was living with my aunt and my uncle as a favor, you know. And then they had a baby. I had a little cousin. And so like I was not comfortable. Like yeah. Not because they're not making me comfortable. My no, family no is great. But yeah, I was in an apartment. And then like my uncle had nothing to deal with it. And um but my aunt, it was just always great. My other aunt, like, got my brother, helped my other brother. So each aunt, we had it. My mom's sister was helping each one of us. Yeah. And then luckily we had them. But, yeah, it was, it was tough. tough. It was tough. And then the next year following, I, I was doing school. Like, I was just trying to have a plan B. So I learned how to uh, cut hair. And so right when we were doing that, the, the, my, my, one of my really close homes that like teach me how, taught me how to skate and then he was doing haircuts with me brought me to the community that he was from and helped me out find like a place to learn and then where to cut like where to go cut and then doing all that and then one of the days i was just going to meet up with him and then someone called me he's like hey you can come like someone show up and just shot everybody here shot yeah and then it was like i could be there that day and i like luckily i wasn't so, 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 so my so, friend like got shot and then died while i was doing after going through all that do, leaving us a favor we're like trying to take move on from my life and just learn something so they shot up was it a barbershop it was a barbershop they it's, shot up the barbershop yeah someone show up and just so dump it, like dump it yeah wow catch the bullets on the ground and just dip and uh by like 10 minutes apart i'll be there so this homie passed away and then we we're like have like man like it was like you don't we don't catch a break like yeah, i don't catch a like, break in this place like and then it's just like a lot of thing going on like like all my friends like stopping skate because they had to you know like they have to grow up and you know s s just keep it moving forward and then my family was had a lot too because it's like when someone passes away it's not the problem is just starting, man, because you got to figure out so much that comes after. And then we were we didn't have access to the money that that we my my mom and my grandma had had it like in their bank accounts, and it was couldn't just you know, it. like we couldn't even like if it wasn't for my aunts, me and my brother we screwed at that at that point. But it was really hard for everyone, so everyone went through something. I lost my grandma and my mom, my brother too. My aunt lost her mom and her sister. So it was like everyone, he lost yeah. someone really close. And anyway, my family was really s small, you know. So we went through all that. And then I, in 2019, that, that was 2017, 2018, I came here, but I was still not able to like, like, I didn't know that many people. And you moved over here by yourself? Or how, like, what, how'd you come no, over so here? No, so in 2018, I came and I stayed a month. Who did you come, like, what made you want by to By myself. You just came by yourself? Yeah, I'll be, wow. buy the tickets and have no place to go and then just, like, yeah, how, how much, figure it out Did you have any me. money to, like, last a little, a little bit? bit? A little bit, at least for food. Yeah. I, I have, like, like sometimes, oh, like, it's funny because, like, uh, I'll be doing things here and there and then save money here and there to, like, to be, like. To survive? 
uh, like, to be able to come here and oh, don't oh, be to come here. Yeah, to yeah. be able to when I get in here, I, I'll I'm able to like you know skate and just focus on you know on that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but I wasn't able to stay for too long because so you I didn't have Sao that Paulo, much money Brazil because. Mm -hmm. Just everything, yeah, everything was tough was over there, really... and you're like, okay, let me go over here and, like, try, I think and try to make a better life. Yeah, so I, I in 2018, I still came, and then they stayed a little bit, and then, but it was still hard because I was still dealing with a lot in Brazil. Yeah. Because when we finally got the documentation, my house done, we sold the house, uh, luckily pretty fast because we we had the house in a really good location. Uh, my part of money, my so my brother's part, we split my mom's side, and then so the house was split. And like three, and then me and my brother got one half one of the third. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you and your brother split one. the one third. Yeah. Damn. And then, so we wasn't that much money. Yeah. But my brother was working. My brother always worked it. So he he got himself a house, and then like he was just able to like monthly just you know keep going with the payments, just pay the front apart, and then just keep me so he doesn't have to pay rent. Yeah. And then I didn't have that much but skateboard like i so i sold my car i took all the money that i had from my sponsors and i was able to get apartment uh paid off and while they're building the apartment here or where in brazil oh, in that's brazil. in brazil in yeah brazil. and it was like small but because it would take at least two years that they build the apartment yeah. i was like i w i have two years to figure it out in my life and that was in 2000 uh the mid 2018 that's when I bought my apartment in Brazil. I was like, sold my car, like, just like hustled a lot, and then and it grabbed uh, the apartment, I paid it off. It was just, I didn't had any payments for like two years, two years and a half because it was they were building the apartment, so you don't have to pay anything. Right. And then I was like, I'm gonna go to go. To, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to LA, like. I can't, I can't so be, you know, to Los Angeles. So in 2019, that was when I was finally able to hustle a little bit more, grab some money, get myself some tickets and then get money. I got here with $80. $80. Yeah. $80. To a, a new country you had never been to. No, I've been here. Oh, you've been, been here? Yeah. Cause like, I'm, that started from when I was in 2015, it was the first time I think, but I never came and I stayed for too long. Gotcha. 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 I just came and what, I stayed what, what, like, what brought you here before? Uh, Mountain Dew for the We Are Blood. Okay, so, so your sponsors when you were no, no, no. Oh. We Are Blood. Uh, you know the the move of Ty Evans. It, Ty Evans had a move, and then it was a huge movie with Mountain Dew, Pepsi. Yeah. So I was the one only girl in the, in the movie. I skating in Brazil. Oh wow! Yeah, so I was I was here for that before, like right before that, actually, like a week after, before that, I was here because uh. Mike Mo helped me out, like, uh, for a little bit. I stayed, for, like, at least a month, like, yeah. 40 days in his house. And then he was in skating. So uh, it was a little hard because I didn't drive. I was underage here, basically. I couldn't go to the bar or, like, that was, like, <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, really yeah. weird because the only thing that he could do was, like, just go to the bar. And then, like, the only thing I could do was basically go skate. So he he really got out of his way to help me out yeah. for a little bit. And then that was the first experience I had in the United States. Okay. And then so you right knew after, a couple people out here when you came. Yeah. I, I mean, they went to Brazil. And that's when, like, that's, when I, that's how I met them. Yeah, and yeah, most yeah. people I met was through internet. Like, oh, wow. In, in Instagram and, and it put me close to a lot of people. That's awesome. And, yeah, well, it's great. Um, so right after that, Mountain Dew movie happened. Yeah. And then they like I went to, I, I was in Brazil and then they um uh, uh pay me for tickets for me to come and visit to be here for the premiere basically. Yeah. And then after that I came for street league and the street league happened when I was having all those problems like with my family my mom yeah. my my grandma and my mom passed away and then like and then the year following like I got invited. It's just literally the hardest part like to, to, to come out here. To come out here, I had to come. I wasn't really skating that much. Because you had to much. fly yourself, right? Yeah, I had, had to, to fly, fly myself. Yeah, to, you had to pay for your own hotel and stuff too. I had a homies to help me oh, out. That's awesome, Luckily, man. like. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty much like you have to. Like, shout if you get out invited to Olivia. To, to compete, and, you got to go and, and yeah, take care yeah, of it you, yourself. Yeah, like you by yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. Like it's not their responsibility, right. basically. So after that, I came out another two times, and uh, that was one in 2017, 2018. Like spent like 
like not not even a month. Yeah. And then it went back to Brazil. And in 2019, I was like, when 2019 hit and all the this apartment situation I told you, I got done. I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. So I hustled a little bit more, uh, grabbed my grabbed myself tickets, and then all the money that was left, I bought dollars because we there we, over there we have re ice. Right. And, and then, then it was like eighty dollars. Yeah, yeah, it was eighty dollars. And then I got here. And then that's when I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have to get a job because I don't have any money to yeah. eat or anything. So I, the ne- my homie was here from Colombia. He was like, hey, like I'm leaving, but I can tell the guy that you can scoop my spot because he was going through all same thing that I was going through. So he had to leave the country because he was gonna hit six months. Yeah, and then put me on his spot to work it, and I was working. And it was miserable. It was a miserable job. Uh, I was in this burger spot. It was hard to get in there. It was a lot of hours just staying, standing up the whole time. And then I was like, man, I'm over about this job. But uh, but then I leave. I went to Barcelona because I need to, it was about to hit six months that I was here. I can't, I can't stay that long. So I went to Barcelona because tickets to Barcelona were cheap than go to Brazil. Really? Yeah. Go to wow, Barcelona. Even though it's like across the ocean. Yeah. It's That's basically the same, um, like, hours. Wow. And then I was like, I'm going to go to Barcelona. I will stay a month in there. No, nobody. Uh, I had a homie who helped me for a little bit. And then I met this chick called Lucia over there. And she was like, I got you. Like, you can stay with me. And wow. then so she she really opened up her home for me to stay for, for a few weeks. And then I came back to the United States, and then it worked out. I was able to get in. So why, when I got in here, I started looking for another job because I, I was not going to go back to that place. They're they were treating me so bad. So so with the way that works is like you can't stay in America for six months. You can't so stand before anymore. that. You have to go somewhere else, and, and then, then you can come back. back. How long? How long before you can come back? You can't come back on the next day. It's all about if they're going to let you or not. What? Because you got to leave. You have to leave. When you come back, it doesn't matter. You got to leave the country before it hits five months. Legally, you're not supposed to stay six months outside of your own country. That's crazy. That, yeah. So uh, for the visa that I had, it was a visiting visa. Yeah. So when so, I came back again, I was like, I'm. So you went to Barcelona and then from Barcelona, you came straight back here. Yes. Wow. And I came straight back here. I was like, I got to get another job. And then the, I was already with Tony that I mentioned that work at the Stay, shop. Staying at his place, yeah. And then, and so then, yeah, we're back at the barracks now. And right. I was like, hey, man, like, I really don't have where to go. Is that okay if I go back to stay with you? And he's like, yeah, That's I got you. Cool. And I was like, damn, and you really want. Damn. And then. So you've been very fortunate that people have uh, opened up their, their, their homes and, and their I've been I mean, willing to help. That's awesome. Like, yeah, I mean, I, you have great I, energy. So, like, every time I've been around you, you have good energy. I, own, I, I always I, make yeah. myself like a, I give them a reason for, to always want to have me around. That's for sure. I want to be bring something, you know, for him. And so, and not just take it from him. So, when I was there, I was just making sure to like everything's clean. Like, yeah, being useful. Being yeah, useful being useful. And, and, don't and, bother. And giving back in the ways yeah, that you can. Even yeah, if you don't, don't. Don't stay too much. Like, he will be driving here. Had a car. He will drive here. And I would take my bike just so I don't bother so him. you don't bother him. Yeah. That's dope. Like, you didn't, you weren't trying to take advantage. No, no, no. That's no. dope. Uh, and then he helped me more than he even, he, he, like I say, bro, the homie bought shoes me for me to skate. Wow. Like, he got out of his way to help me. That's incredible. Yeah. And then, not just that, he was like, He's like he knew it. So like that night on the on the woman's bar of the barracks, we he worked in here. So we walk inside and he, the trophy was there inside of the thing. And then he's he's kind of quiet guy. He doesn't talk too much. Yeah. Like he he like does not talk too much. We walk in and then he like I'm taking this thing at home tonight. And he, <laughs> he laughed and then everybody and everyone was like, Tony say something like that's funny. And I was like, all right, I gotta be, I gotta take that thing out. <laughs> home and then when the night like like i finally won besides the fact that i had to clean it off there yeah and you're still <laughs> working here right so you, i'm still working here so i had to yeah, clean you win it. you're the champ yeah Big everybody out and i'm like and there with the right trash cleaning. <laughs> just trash taking the trash hey, out mad respect though that's, yeah that's the hustle and then when we were driving home and he needed like yo i told you i'm taking this home he was so proud i was yeah. like sick like that, that was sick. Like that was just 
night to wow. remember for sure. Because, you know, I'm not a like, contest skater, so that was like, that was sick, you know? Yeah. Like, no, I mean, you know that was a big deal. thing. Yeah, yeah, that was the, a big you know, thing the for The platform me. of the barracks, the, the, how, how many people watched the Battle of yeah. the Barracks finals? Um, uh-huh. you know and then the first ever women's like that's that's a big deal yeah, yeah. and yeah it make me really make me uh, look pretty good for for you know the people that are like believe me yeah. you know and so so you were still here struggling working at the barracks yeah. doing maintenance you win you get some money from that uh mm-hmm. that's the money that i used it to pay for my visa to pay for your visa yeah I, I funny story talking when they got me the check i didn't have a bank account so i had to ask my friends to check out and then when, uh, when we, the next day, basically like two days after, like, uh, we went to look for the lawyer that was going to do my whole thing. Yeah. And then he's like, it's 10, 10 and $11,000. And I was like, man, I only have four in my account. So I gave him like, I had four grand in my account. I'm like, and I had a like cash app. I had a cash app. And I was like, yeah, okay. Cause it's like, that's how I was doing. My friends would ca- like cash yeah. out and send me on cash app to me. My my money that I'll be getting to work and stuff. I was like, man, I don't have this money, and then this is gonna take forever to you know him until like everything happens and then to go to cash out. And I'm here with a lawyer in front of me. I gotta close this deal right now. And then Lance paid it. Wow. <laughs> Lance paid, it and and I was like, hey, I got you. I'll pay you back. And then he like, okay. And then it, the next day, 7 a.m. The money actually hit my account pretty far. From, from the Battle of the Barracks? Yeah. Uh, check. Yeah. And then my, my friend just sent me. So I sent it to him and said, hey, tell me your cash up. I'll send it to you right now. He's like, he sent it. And then I sent it. So when we finally got to work, he's like, he looked at me. He's like, I knew you were going to pay me, but I just didn't know you were going to pay me so fast. And I was like, well, what do you mean? He's like, I don't know. I just thought you were never going to pay me. <laughs> it's uh. like, I just, it's just like, I don't know. And so you I paid him all the way back. A, I paid him right away. Like I bought his money for probably like twelve hours. Yeah. And not even. You know, and at seven a.m., I was like, he, I knew he was. He's already working and driving all the way to the barracks. Wow. Like, hey, send me your cash app. I got your money. And he's like, when we when I when we met up <laughs> here a few like three hours later, two hours later, he I was. He's like, I had no idea you're gonna pay me. Like That's aw- you know what? That's amazing though. <laughs> yeah. Like, that. Uh, he put a lot of trust in me too. Like, yeah, like, yeah. And, you know. and then for him to even like think that, damn, she might not even pay me back. Yeah, but he speak, still did it. Yeah, he still did it. That's crazy. It's because he find out about my whole life because yeah. he was doing my visa. Right. My, and then my visa wasn't like a working visa. It's a ex, uh, extraordinary ability. Oh wow! And then it's called a working visa because that visa gets you uh, the ability to get paid out gotcha. of the country so that's why it's calling a working visa because you're basically technically working yeah and but then like that visa is really hard to get and then he helped me and then he like he like saw everything that i went through because he he's out yeah he was he, there. Was, he had all he had my documents out, had talk, all, yeah. everything i gotta explain the whole entire thing like detail by detail wow. everything little by little and then he was like, wow, like, like that it is like, it, it is, this is not common, you know, like that's, that's what he had in mind. But it's like, that's how it is when you come from a different country. Everybody's going through something. Yeah. Yeah. And if they yeah. ended up coming to the United States, it's, that it's means crazy, it's like the, anything here will be better. You know, if they put themselves in the seat and choose like, I'll leave it, that life that I have in my yeah. own country to be in the United States. Sometimes like work as a cleaner or in a restaurant or like cleaning tables or whatever it is they're like it's bad in there where they're going through in their own country yeah. so like he he you know like most of americans don't know that yeah yeah like yeah it's the, the, the struggle is different yeah it's a different kind of struggle yeah, yeah exactly so um so yeah he like he like wow like that, that's that's beautiful i'm like i'm glad that i'm helping and he, helped, and and he the, helps everyone he helps yeah. everyone i wasn't special he helps literally everyone wow like he's, people be he's calling just a good me. dude yeah people be calling me like hey can i can i talk to lance about this can you help me connect it's like yeah dude i got you that's sick and then he will he will never like just not help he will just wow. always help it's just how he that's, is that's so amazing mm-hmm. it's there are not that many people that are that giving in this world no no not really that's why i took him real serious yeah. like i'm lucky and like everybody that I, well there's a lot of people that 
they'll just see me and then don't you know like we're not related so no we'll have a great time but they're not close to me yeah. to the point that i'll go somewhere and if they know lance they'll walk to me say hey you mind right you you lance's wife and i'm like yeah and they're like they'll be hugging me because they're like so happy that i'm i'm like these people yesterday they didn't even look me in the face like and then it just because i i'm related now to someone that they really really respect yeah no and that's then, amazing like, that, like, yeah. i mean that's that speaks volumes mm -hmm. about a person mm -hmm. oh that's that's awesome and then <clears throat> that's the type of person i want to be with yeah yeah, yeah. of course yeah, yeah that's, that's, a good, exactly. that's a good human mm -hmm. yeah but no no one knows that so like yeah when we're like we finally like told people they were getting married and stuff they were engaged actually not even married yet but we got engaged like people were like, "Oh, you did for the documents." If he so, he was the guy that got me like this extraordinary ability visa. What it is a green card at that point, like yeah, you know. And then eventually, it got my green card because we actually married now. We yeah. got married, and it was a beautiful wedding. And, and you, you guys had like your first date. He he asked you out on Valentine for Valentine's Day. Yeah, and actually, after my Valentine. Yeah, right after that, uh, I was still working for High Beast and doing, all, and I was still skating and and I did my banging and then, uh, but not even a month and a half. Some people from the, uh, the barracks would just walk in, and say, "Hey, you're gonna have to work that those days. Are you down?" I'm like, oh, "Yeah, I'm counting on me. I'm like, I need that money. Yeah. I just spent like twelve thousand like, dollars. Yeah, I think at your, this point, yeah. yeah. And they're like, yeah. "I like." So we're gonna rent the barracks for this for Spotify on Valentine's Day. I'm like, oh, I'm in. I got no yeah. boyfriend. I'm good. And, <laughs> and then it was Justin Bieber's like uh, album wow. release, and then it was dope because he was like, um, like I don't know. Uh, I think he's a good artist. You know, like he he really knows how to. You know, he's one of the best like artists of. Probably all he's time. One of, he's he changed one of the, the biggest game. in the world. Yeah, he changed the game for like, you know, his generation. That's for sure. Like a lot of people inspire on him, you know. So even when I was young, I'd be like, see this guy on TV. Now I'm like here, like having to work for, like for him, make sure he's having fun at the park. I yeah. can do that. That's easy. And then so I had the opportunity to met him and brought all my homies with me. Oh, wow. And then brought all of them to, you know, have fun. And they're all like, this is sick. Like... We have the park only for us. We're skating with this dude that he's a great artist, but not just that. The homie was skating over there. Yeah. Like, he has no stance. And it was, it was, we're over there tripping because Justin Bieber had no stance. Like, you know, like how Skate Goat has no yeah. stance? Justin Bieber is just like a copy of Skate Goat. In the he, can do reg he can do regular goofy. Yeah, he'll be wow. like going and switch flip like he's like he's on his own stance, and he would rock and roll the big quarter pipe and the other stance, and then he would just board slide switch, and then he. And we were like, damn. Dude. Where did the date come in? You and uh, Lance, like, how did where, where, we're in the next day? We had a date after the Valentine's Day. Oh, the day after. Oh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> you and then, like, that was, was that your first date? Uh, that was that was our first date. Wow, our first date. Yeah. And then yeah, it was great, and uh, and then after that, we just you know started dating. Then you guys like slowly like yeah. made it up again, and then um, we we'll see like slowly starting to see a little bit here and there, and then quarantine hit, and then we we're just together all day long. Yeah, we went, we traveled the United States. Like I went to Yellowstone. I like I saw a grizzly bear. I saw a <laughs> moose. Like. I had and a bunch of experiences. He snowboards. You guys went snowboarding. This is 2020, right? That's 2020. You guys went snowboarding. So, um, and somebody ran into you, right? Mm -hmm. It was me, Lance, and Desiree. Uh, and then I, they had only one way to go because the mountain just opened. So there was yeah. not a lot of snow. It was in the hot, like it was pretty hot for what actually uh, for Big day. Bear should be. And it was just the beginning of the winter. Yeah. You know, like very small portion of snow and uh they had the first job and that's what they had basically their big obstacles yeah in, in that situation in that part at that moment so there's only one way you, you should go like there's no all the there's no alternate yeah there's just one way and um I was like, I cannot really do any trick over here so I'll, I'll drop it and then wait for you guys there because at one point we'll get flat so okay. on so that you were just flat chilling part, at some point they were getting ready to like get on 
do the obstacles. The obstacles. So I, because I take longer, so I'll just drop it and it'll basically wait for them to meet with me. Yeah. So I did that, and then right when you hit it, you're supposed to hit like this flat part that goes and you go over real slow. And then uh, there was a lot of little kids, skiers, and then like this group of these three people in front of me. And they're very beginners. Like, they had no idea what they're doing. But they're still trying, you know? Yeah. Like, that's what, that's all. That's how it is. So you go in and there's all kind of different levels because right. there's only one route that they had to be there. Yeah, everyone was mixed. So I'm waiting for this girl that looks at me and she's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, you're good. So and you I'm, slow down. I'm, you stop. I'm like fully stopped. So you're there. standing. Yeah, I'm standing sideways in the mountain. Yeah, wait, because there's a, there are the, people in front of you that yeah, are going slow. Yeah, little kids. So they, she finally make it. I turn myself flat, slowly starting like to go again. move around, like move again. It's oh, like barely. not even not even ten feet. Yeah. And then someone just so I saw Lance and Desiree passing me like complete Flying. super fast. I was like, oh, I gotta. I'm not gonna catch it up with them, but they need to be in front of me because they're gonna film what I just learned. Right when I'm like starting to move and then slowly getting some speed, like like a uh, ten feet from Barely. when I was stopping to go, someone just come and like, another person oh, is flying shit. down and they're like and runs about to hit you. me. I hold my head and he, he throws so me. So you in the you air. heard them coming. Yeah, heard them coming. I heard him saying like, "Oh shit!" So I'm like, "Oh, what well, that means? He's gonna hit me." Yeah. I just didn't know how hard, so I just and he ran straight into your back. So, yeah, and he, like he probably went sideways. Yeah. And then just hit me with his. His knee probably hit me probably on my my pelvis area. Yeah. And his hips probably like uh, hit your around, back. around my, my back Damn. or something. And he, like... He, and he wrecked you, right? It was or hard. he was like this, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know how... how where, like how... But, but actually, his whole body slammed His whole body you. slammed me. And he was like... I'm small. I'm, I'm like five feet tall. Yeah. And... Like a hundred five pounds. Yeah. So he hit me, and I'm like, I'm just flew in the air, and I'm like, I had no idea. And then I hit the ice a couple times until I fully stopped. Yeah. And then yeah, like when we got to the hospital, like I had three fractures in my spine. On Damn, that three one. fractures in your spine. Yeah. Oh, that just that it was scary to hear that because he, what did you do? You yeah. Can what did you do after? You know, like, but luckily I just broke bones and. So it took me like only the amount of what it, it takes to heal bones. Yeah. Because I didn't need the surgery. The you lucky, did, so you didn't need surgery I didn't at all. I need the surgery. There was no surgery, and they were you, they didn't even put you in a cast or anything, right? No, I just had to stay still, you had basically to stay at still. home, and they gave me like this walker, basically, it's a walker. Oh, so man. I can go to the bathroom. And, and they hold yeah, me. So, and you could barely move, right? Like for a while. Yeah. No, it took me. Yeah, I was I was damaged, man. My shoulder was a lot because I hold my head. Yeah. So my shoulder was like like hitting, keep it hitting like yeah. the ice, and then yeah. so this part popped out. Uh, my pelvis was like broken and badly like. And so your so not only your back had fractures, but your pelvis was broken yeah, too. Yeah, so I couldn't sit. It's basically the 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 bones you sit with your butt. Yeah. That, that that I had a big fracture over there, and then the the my spine I had those little you have those little tiny bones outside yeah. your actual vertebra the, that yeah, they the hold. The, I think I think they they or hold the, your the, ligaments. The yeah, yeah, they lig I think you hold your ligaments, protect them. Uh -huh. I, I don't really know what goes in the middle of them. But it's like a little that seat. area right there in your spine, though. That's that's what I broke it Damn. on the right right side, my right bones, like on the now, right like, side. Now, like, so you were were you bedridden? Like, were you stuck on your bed? Like, you couldn't like barely even do anything. Yeah, it, it, it was... How did you go to the restroom? Like, I know that's a I had, question. I had... The tough part of going to the restroom was my pelvis. Yeah, can't, my you can't pelvis. sit down. Yeah. Because I had my arms. Even so, even so, my spine it was messed up. I was able to lift myself with my arms. Yeah. At least with one arm, because this one, I couldn't open. Wow. But I had I had this muscles, like, all Your the time. Your left side. It, like, my both arms, I, I was able to push myself up. Okay. And... uh. I just, I sleep a lot. I remember to be sleeping all day long, like yeah. for, for a whole month. Wow. And then it was hard to sit for a few months. And then like after three months, I was like slow. I was in pain, but I was still slow. I was still trying to skate because I had physical therapy. Why, you're trying to skate in three months? Yeah, after three months, I started oh, to skate. What the hell? It's, well, I had physical therapy for like, you know, right away. Right. Like, and uh, 
So I had someone taking care of me and telling me. And they were telling you, okay, everything. try this. Try you yeah. can test yourself in this way. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you had so, like professional advice on what you could do with your yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of gotcha. course. Yeah. <laughs> All the way. I had a really good physical therapy, like, wow. like really Man, good people crazy. working. Because I had a, like this. Uh, I had two insurances at that moment. Mm -hmm. I had insurance that come from Lance, and I had a sponsored by insurance company. Oh wow! For a specific like, like sports. Yeah. So they're they're covering only not only what it was left from my insurance that came from Lance, but also my physical therapy. That's so amazing. I had I was able to choose where I was gonna go and then get the best service. Wow. And so the the people that are taking care of me is people that take care of like uh, big athletes. Big athletes like for like that has bad conclusions like yeah. football players uh, to skis to wow. like like um, a lot of people yeah. like a lot of people like wow. like how, people how, that have injuries with in elbows with yeah. like baseball and stuff. Damn. So I was how many gonna, how many months till you were able to do a kickflip again? Almost three months. Almost I went in my months. garage. I went in my garage and I was like, I can kickflip right now, and then let's like I didn't do it. I was able to skate. I wasn't able to fall. So, oh, wow. So you had to try to... <laughs> how, do you, how do you... Okay, how do you not fall on skateboarding? That doesn't make sense. That, that's like, what I'm saying. I was I'm able, I was like, oh, I can do a kickflip right now without fall. But that's not skate because the skate is falling. Yeah. So I was... I, so I did my first kickflip. Yeah. That didn't mean I was like skating. Because I remember like right away, I wanted to get my part. I wanted to film a part. I, was, I wanted to prove myself that I was able yeah. to skate again and to my first clip took me two weeks after i was started skating again but i was fully in pain because my Damn. fractures were in there but the trauma was in there the trauma in my body was still in there yeah so like the guy told me like hey you're gonna have like six months of pain still six months of you're pain. good you you healed but you're still gonna have pain because the trauma is on you in two years and you're like the, the the not not just your mental trauma, the body trauma. Yeah, the whole body trauma is still yeah. gonna be there. Even so, you're good. You cannot like, just like oh, you can you can option to yeah. It. You can your options are to like wait until you like feel confident again, or you can break through and, and skate with pain. But know that you're good. You're gonna, and then your body's gonna believe you because that and then that's what happened. In like my first session, I tried to like skate, and my whole body was just so f had so much fear. I was popping really. I mean, so I was like tense. strong. I was strong because I was in my. I was working hard. Yeah. Like to get myself like strong again to be able to like prove myself that I could skate again. I yeah, was yeah. physically capable to do it. So I was in probably my best shape. I was like. I was Aside like from the from strong. the body trauma, what was it like mentally? Like, were you scared of doing tricks? I wasn't scared to skate. I was scared to snowboard. Oh, okay. The snowboard, uh, I remember the first time I tried after, it was, I had anxiety. Like, yeah. I never felt like that. And I was like, this is crazy. It's, it like, it's real. Like, when people probably like go through some such trauma, like yeah. it's real. Like, it, it pushes you back. It, it's scary. Uh, the noise, the noise of people behind me when I was just trying to snowboard, freaked it was, it freaked me out. And then, but I still tried to go and it went again and it went, and it slowly got better. Yeah, but so I'm, so you push yourself through it. You were just like, no, no, yeah, I, I no, can't I let can't this do fear it, yeah. take over. You gotta yeah. push there's through no it. There's no way that this is normal. Like, there's no way that this is normal that, that every time I go snowboard, someone's gonna hit yeah. me. Yeah. And there's absolutely no way. And, uh, um, it, that's when you find out it's like your human body is not really that strong like <laughs> that i you you mentally ready for more like i was mentally thinking that my body that i wasn't that's not what that's not what pain is yet like, mm -hmm. in my head i was like pain can, ha, has to be worse this is not there's absolutely no way that this is the most painful thing in the whole world yeah but it is your body's so weak you're mentally stronger you're thinking that mentally you can be worse but that was your limit. It's, that's when I find out that my, my body limit, it's so low. I was like, man, humans are actually like, I, I, you know, I, when you see movies, like you don't know what to expect it and yeah. reality to be. That's when you just like, hey, man, human body is actually pretty fragile. Yeah. 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 That's, that's when I was like, man, you, you, I'm actually pretty fragile if I put it in a way. Like I can do amazing things, but it's, my body is actually pretty fragile. Yeah. Like, it doesn't take that much. Yeah. You know? And then 
so when I came back skating again, I was like, I I experienced pain. So if I can not be afraid of what's what's coming, then I'm fine because I'm physically he- like better. Yeah, like I'm not. I don't have broken bones no more. So I decided to keep skating, and I fell on my back. I fell on my pelvis, and it took me two weeks to get my first trick clip. Wow. After they started skiing. Fast forward a little over a year and a half. Mm-hmm. How do you feel now? I'm 100%. 100%. I think after six months, I was 100%. Wow. Like. But you worked hard. You were like doing all the physical therapy. Yeah. You were working out. You're mm-hmm. doing like all the, the right things to get yourself, mm-hmm. your body healed. And, and, yeah. and so mentally, you're, you're, you feel 100% mentally too? Oh, yeah. I think it was the main reason what got me in there is like I had I had I was I had a mission. I I have to get I have to film a part and then prove that myself that I can yeah. still do this. And I did. I think it, it is ready. It's been ready for quite a minute, but we're just waiting to put yeah, it Yeah, because the part hasn't released, right? Not yet. We had a premiere just to, to the close homes. To the homies. Yeah. And then but it should be coming out soon. Sick. Yeah. I'm excited. Just working, for that. working like the details like right of all the you know like songs and stuff like that but it'll Sick. come out soon hell yeah, yeah all right so you got a part coming mm-hmm. all right uh, any idea of like possibly when maybe actually taking one or two months okay, i don't okay. know i actually okay. don't but, know but it's close it is it is Sick. done i think the most important part is that this is done sick yeah hell and, yeah and then i'm already working like other things and that's right uh also like working with vocal and other things yeah yeah, so, so, yeah, so those things are going to really soon too. Crazy stuff, losing sponsors, uh, get myself injured, back. moving, or, uh, taking off to another country, coming back, all this stuff. But now you got you got some sponsors underneath you now. Mm-hmm. Consistent, you're dropping stuff. You've been mm-hmm. working on more brand partnerships I've seen. Like you mm-hmm. did something with like a watch company and you did. Yes. You've been doing a lot of different things. Like yeah. you're like things, uh, it looks like just a lot more doors are opening for you. Yeah, that's for sure. <clears throat> I think... Uh, uh, the fact that I just, you know, I was always trying to move forward and uh, let things happen naturally and just not like be upset when things yeah. don't go the way I want and just trying just to find a way. Yeah, like you keep moving forward. Yeah, throughout all like focusing what was good for me and yeah. and uh, make good decisions. Uh, wait for the right time to do things. Uh, I think don't be stuck and in, and with something that does not make me happy right. too um also like work with whoever actually really likes me like yeah keeping around good energy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. do like what i actually believe in because i believe in not because it's what's gonna bring me money or and i ended up doing like wrong decisions or something like that i think that's what make me keep going and um bringing me a lot of good things as well. that's right Mm-hmm. sick yeah oh yeah well I'm, I'm definitely happy to see all the growth and the progress mm-hmm. uh even since i met you like about a year and a half ago mm-hmm. um a little over a year and a half ago i've been just seeing like more and more great things come to you and yeah. uh, you deserve it you deserve Thank it you, you have good energy it. um i've never really hung out si- hung out with you outside of here but every time i've been around you mm-hmm. um good vibes Thank you. good vibes yeah. good energy and uh you're a beast <laughs> and oh, oh and you know what one of the dopest video clips that exist in the world it's amazing <laughs> on your wedding day yeah you did a kickflip in your wedding dress it's a switch flip yeah a switch flip yeah. that's right <laughs> damn i was like that was the dopest shit i've ever seen in my life like that yeah, was so it, dope i kind of planned to do that because i really wanted to do it um my family wasn't able to come to united states to be in my wedding when um when we had the wedding yeah. so i had to uh, made it like a life for them to be watching like, oh cool so you, so you, you actually yeah. streamed the wedding i streamed the, the wedding that's cool <laughs> it was like the for my first streaming was my wedding yeah and uh it was great and it was pretty we, we got a really pretty church and um lance and i look pretty cute and um so when we were outside hanging out we were like basically going to the party after like we had a little like uh place that we we're gonna go the reception yeah it's like a restaurant that was for us pretty like something special for us because we went over there right when we got engaged oh sick. so we spoke with them and then they're down to have a party for for, for our uh Reception wedding for yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
And so before we we did, my friends were all talking. Like, Damn, you got married? I was like, yeah. Should I switch flip right now? And they're like, yeah. And then someone just bring me a board and I like switch flip. I was like, hey, can you film me real quick? And they're like, they filmed because I, the funny part is like, I was like legit, like uh uh, like this pretty little girl over there. But then I'll put my dress up and I had shoes. <laughs> so they were like laughing. I was like, You weren't wearing heels. You were wearing yeah, shoes. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. wearing heels. I was wearing shoes. And then, uh, cause the only thing I wanted was just to be comfortable, yeah, you of know? Course. And then, smart. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, Man, should I switch flip right now? And they're like, Yeah, <laughs> switch flip. Whose so board I, was it? Uh, I think it was my homie's angel's board. If not, it's like someone in my yeah, homie's yeah. board. And then the guy that filmed the kickflip. The switch flip it was the filmer that i film all the time ricardo so Sick. it was like legit that's so <laughs> it's dope. like legit what i go through every day yeah that was amazing i remember yeah. i saw that clip i was like oh that's, that's so dope yeah like, and then i posted just thinking it was funny because you know like i was wearing shoes more my wedding it's yeah. like not even my wedding my family thought i was yeah. gonna get and then i, I said i made that video just to send to my family because they probably thought i had sh nice shoes on and they're like what like you have uh, shoes the whole time. It got shared everywhere. To me, it's one of the <laughs> dopest sweet. clips that exists in the world. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. it. Yeah. Um, let's talk a little bit quickly about uh, your gaming stuff that you're doing. So, like, you've been a gamer. You play video games. Yeah, I play video games since um, I was You're big kid. into Call of Duty. And now you said that you're... I'm trying to Fortnite. Fortnite. And I'm in Fall Guys. Fall Guys, yeah. Uh, I'm, like, still building a setup. I just got an Xbox. I think when, I, when we spoke last time, yeah. I only had a PlayStation. Now I have an Xbox um why are you switching i'm not switching i'm oh, just adding, adding. Up. okay yeah sick. <laughs> yeah uh I, I think i'm gonna always be a playstation <laughs> me too uh, i'm a playstation person for mm -hmm. sure i have a nintendo switch too me too uh, yeah i and just love games i just love all kinds of games i think they all have something to you know to bring yeah. and then the reason why we got uh uh xbox is because there's games that are very nice yeah from skyrim for sure like type game and then lance really wants to play it and um yeah, you and me played Call of Duty Black Ops 2, right? I was playing... I'm sorry, I'm saying not Black Ops, not Black Ops 2. Cold Black Ops, uh, Cold War. Cold I was in Cold War. And then... Are you uh, getting the new Modern Warfare? I think so. I think so. I, I think I'm getting them. Uh, but I also want to get a PC. I mean, Sick. I'm on like my next probably thing is get a PC so I can uh, simultaneously stream like yeah. two different platforms. Because uh, I mean, I just started on Twitch. It's been fun. But I think... Uh, uh, YouTube might be really cool too. I haven't really streamed in a while, but during the pandemic, I was streaming all the time. Yeah, I was doing mostly like Warzone. But yeah, like mm -hmm. I would stream to YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook at the same time. So that's basically what I'm like planning to do. Like, Sick. just uh, start streaming while I'm not skating. Yeah, because I rolled my ankle, and then I'm like, man, I'm just gonna bring build myself a, a little sit up. Yeah, because we're all playing with my friends. They're like. <laughs> Yo, you should start stream. Yeah. Like sometimes funny stuff happens. And yeah. If we actually, it's fun. And yeah. Especially if you're already gonna be playing, might as well be streaming. Might as well, yeah. And then, uh, like, cause I'm, I'm not a, like, uh, like a person that spends that much time on Instagram. Right. So sometimes people try to connect with me, and I'm like, catch me on the there. street. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, catch me on the street, cause I'm not gonna be there. But then that put puts me on the position that i can actually talk to people yeah. while i'm playing because i'm down to talk to people if i'm playing yeah i'm not already, down to yeah. like just be scrolling in there and try to talk and then they cannot see me or yeah, yeah. i cannot like it's actually too time consuming just do this full and, time yeah. directly i want to like them to be like i feel this way and be, yeah, and be i feel talk, this yeah. way i want to like ask me when i'm like feeling that way you know yeah. like so do you have your twitch channel already or not yet i just have an account and, okay, okay. Uh, you haven't started streaming yet I stream it. I stream okay. it like. Where you, I, okay, so we're, we're, if people I just don't have the timing. Oh, okay, okay. But they can go to Monica Torres with no e on the Torres. It's like so Monica, Monica T O R R S. Mm -hmm. And then sure. sometimes like they think that you're good at everything, and then I'm not. Like yeah. I'm not a good gamer, but I like to game. Yeah. Like I, I like to play. So at one point I'm gonna be maybe having a few people over there, and I created my own community, and people will be like, 
Yeah, but because they, they're always trying to give a reason, but it, it, there's yeah. no reason. You're just doing yeah, you just got to ignore those people. The though. reason why it's happening is because you're doing. Yeah, so, it's the work. All right, and I want to send you that message because people are sometimes are so afraid to do something. Yeah. You overthink and, and, so and much. And that's all it is. It's like you just got to do it. Yeah, you just, just got to do it. do yeah. it and you'll get better. You'll progress. Yeah. You'll get a fall. You'll do it. But it's yeah, like it takes the work. You yeah. got to just go. And yeah, you just got to do it and keep it real. And um, that's what I'm going to tr- – that's what I'm trying to do. Sick. I'm just trying to not be so much on Instagram. Um. I think what Instagram is about now, it does not represent what I'm uh, like. No, it doesn't represent me so much. Yeah. I think um, YouTube did that before. Like I have homies that I was able to like create a like uh, personality yeah. and I, be able to show through YouTube and um, trying to, you know, I, I was, I was really happy that way. And uh, now that I, you know, got what I want. I'm like fully full time skating. Yeah. And then I have all cool things. Like, so why not? Like, I'm yeah. still the same person. So it's just like, just catch the, you know, the generation that follow me. Yeah. On those just times. Create and connect and then and create and entertain. It to the new people. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm about. And then this is all a lot of things that I do that people have no idea. Yeah. You like get to me, share more of what you like. Yeah, me and my husband, my husband more than anybody, but like he goes out of the desert to look for snakes. What? Yeah, and to like my home's coming to my house and like even pro skaters coming to my house to get hair cut. Oh, wow. To like me playing video games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To like me cooking, to, to go like me yeah. going somewhere and just, sharing just more, having like more a of bunch of experiences. Yeah. yeah. That's just, dope. Exactly. So why like people don't know that, and right. I think they people there's like a difference. That. Yeah, there's a difference of be you show only what they want to see yeah. to you, and them to show the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. So right, I'm, well, like I'm, I'm excited for all that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, let me know when your part comes out or when it's gonna come out. Mm-hmm. It's coming uh, out soon. I'll sick. send you. I'll send you. Dope. I'm excited. Sick. I'm super excited. Mm-hmm. Um, let people know where they can find you. Oh, you already said right, Monica Tours on yeah, everything. Yeah, Monica right? Tours and basically everything <laughs> yeah that's right instagram it's monica tories with no e yeah mm-hmm. yeah all right awesome well, thank you thank you for coming through mm-hmm. uh it was a great conversation super hyped mm-hmm. on getting to know more about you too very inspirational very powerful i love the continued focus the hard work the mm-hmm. the work ethic mm-hmm. um yeah you deserve all the great things that are coming to you and Thank that you. have been happening me. so i'm, I'm very happy me. for you like yeah having this conversation really brought it up like a, a really cool memories you know yeah it's so only a few people that know like a little bit more than this you yeah. know like so it, it really got me. I, I think I think it's gonna having, motivate, and inspire all yeah. the people that that are watching this. So, yeah, yeah, like thank you for everybody sharing. goes going through something, so yeah. you just gotta believe it. Yeah, just keep going. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for I watching. Appreciate. Thank you, Monica Torres. Thanks. We'll for catch you guys on the next one. Peace.